morning. Well, I'm here in the barn. It's pretty early. The sun is coming up here. Well, not the sun. It's snowing outside, actually, but it's, um, it's been a long couple days. Um, I just wanted... To, I'm in the barn. Um, I just um, got home, actually. I had to take my daughter um, to... Scrubs camp. She, my daughter wants to be a vet. Sarah will be 17 in June, and so they're doing um, a scrubs camp today all day. So I'm here all alone. <laughs> my other daughter's at college, so my husband has been working a ton of overtime. He works in Wyoming at a mine, coal mine, and they've opened up overtime. And so, um, I mean, it's great money. And so he lives over there um, during his shift. So he's been gone now two weeks during lambing. And he'll be gone until the first week in March. Oh, my goodness. So, um, yeah, this is where I've been. So I just wanted to show you some of down on the farm, what I've been doing. Um, and my daughter, actually, Sarah, has been doing a lot of it. Because I also run a business. So these are a set of triplets. They're eating breakfast right now. Or oh, the other one must be on the other side. They're super cute. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a tour of our messy barn right now. Um, these ones here. Um, we raise Suffix, um, for those of you that are <clears throat> interested, and um, these are um, a meat breed. So these two here, um, we have some, um, like a, there's a dentist in town, and some other people who want to buy our, our lambs, and then they, they eat them, because they're, I mean, we feed them very well, and um, they're treated very well. So I know it's sad, I know, look at, I know, but <clears throat> it's the cycle of life, and um, these are wonderful, wonderful lambs <laughs> to eat. So these guys are show lambs here, these little babies. <clears throat> We've got a heat lamp set up over here because it is cold. Here's my car. It's snowing now. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's snowing, but look how cute they are. So my daughter will pick one of these or a couple of these and take them to the fair this summer. And so, let me just take you over here. Here's our track, one of our tractors, Oliver. These guys over here, and look at this. We need to get, it's been, just the weather's been crappy. We need to clean out these pens. Um, these are our bucks. This one here is the dad to all these, and then that's another buck. And look at all that hay flying in front. This is a disaster. <laughs> this one here has been... To the vet, uh, and she's pushing right now. I need her to have these babies. We think there's two or three inside of her. She's a yearling, uh, Suffolk, you, you mama. Um, she is prolapsed, and that means her cervix is coming out of her. So we've been to the vet twice this week, was there yesterday, thought she was in labor, told me to cut the stitches because they stitched her up on Monday because she can't lay them with her butt sewed up, so I had to cut this, oh, cut the stitches, and oh my goodness, rushed her to the vet again, because her insides were coming out, he did some other type of stitch, he's all, we can't give her a c-section, because she won't live, so he's all just, keep her in a lambing pen, and watch her, so it's every couple hours, we need her to, um, we need her to have these babies, she's huge, these ones here will be going out with the other ones that you just saw. Look at this one. Hello. Look at the ears. Come here. Were you just eating breakfast? <gasps> Look how cute. Look at this. Look at the tip. Oh. Oh, she's. I know. I know. Oh. She just grunts and. Oh, my goodness. Um. Her cervix, and, and I know you guys are probably going, oh my goodness, her cervix isn't dilated. That's the problem. So we're waiting for her to dilate. Hold the, the vet, can we give her some spicy Mexican food or something? I don't know, to get her in labor. She's just, her milk's in, she's just not dilating. So we'll have to wait the weekend and then next week. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know. We just, I don't know. So these ones were lamb just a couple days ago. So they'll be going out with the other big ones. And these ones here are twins. Look how cute. They're just laying with their mama. So I just wanted to show you guys. This is what I've been doing. I haven't made videos because, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to work out in the middle of all this. Um, let me show the one with the white ears. Come here, mama. Can I see your babies? Can I see your babies? Um, we really try to desensitize our lambs as well. A lot of these are 
will be used for show and so we hold them and um you know, pet them and play with them, and they're just super cute. We have a nice lamb crop this year, so I'm really excited. I really wanted to show you guys the one with the white ears. Can you get out of the way, Mama? Can I show them? Here, back up, back up. Let me show you your baby with the white ears. Come here. This one, they're normally um, born jet black, but this one has, like, white tips on the ears, and she's, they're just hiding they're like, get away with me. Get away from me with the camera. So we're praying for her. My daughter calls her Persephone. I don't know where these names come from, but that's her. this one's name. And we're praying that she can, um, look at her belly. You, she's just, she's just huge. Oh, here, look. Look, look at these ears. Oh my goodness. Look at these ears. They've got white on them. Aren't they adorable? She's like, um, I just want to eat. Leave me alone. Okay, guys, I got to go, and I will talk to you guys soon. Just kind of wanted to show you guys what we've been doing. So take care. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.